Oh, hello neighbour, fancy seeing you there. What are you doing popping over the fence? Oh, of course, we've got to keep distance, haven't we? So what are we, how far away are we? We're probably about 20 feet away. So that's nice. So we're not breaching any regulations or anything. Um, here's a barrel that uh, was used as um, part of a bar at a wedding celebration and I acquired it and I thought that'll make uh, quite a nice garden feature and I'll make it into uh, an alpine bed. Uh, but as you can see uh, over the winter it suffered uh, quite a bit of a trauma because the amount of rain we've had. I had put um, or did put holes into the uh, top of the uh, oak uh, top of the, of the barrel um, but that still hasn't been enough to drain it as fully as I would have liked. Uh, but what I do in here for alpines is I put a mixture of four different uh, items. One is uh, topsoil, one is an organic compost, like Carr's organic compost. Uh, the other would be a, um, a bog standard multi-purpose compost and um, horticultural grit, all in uh, similar quantities. So one part of, of, of each. And I find that that will grow virtually anything. Sometimes actually the plants grow a bit too luxuriantly. Uh, but. As you can see, we've got various different things here with the Orbrucia is quite stunning. Uh, these Semper Emperor Emperor Emperums uh, grow on virtually nothing. Uh, they can grow on a slab, on a dry uh, or a dry roof. And then here we've got a, uh, a weed. I like the dandelions because they're quite colourful. Uh, the main thing is uh, I, I use a lot of wildflowers in my garden and this, uh, this is like a, a weed, but to me it can be a wildflower also because until uh, when the when the when the flowers come out it's absolutely stunning but the main thing is to take off the flower head when it turns to seed or just before it turns to seed because otherwise you get the uh, seeds all over the garden but the uh, but having said that the dandelion clocks are fantastic for the uh, children to uh, do their, their 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 clocks with and blow and see how seed dispersal works etc uh, to my right here is uh, a good use for an old copper hot water uh, cylinder and then what have we done is we put uh, three little legs on that uh, and it's filled with compost and uh, hostas and the beauty of uh, the copper cylinder is if you once a year just clean back the copper with a bit of uh, uh, sandpaper or uh, lightly with an angle grinder carefully then when any of those slugs or snails come creeping up the side of it, it uh, detracts them and uh, then at least your hostas stay perfect. The main thing is to make sure that the hostas don't touch any other plants because the snails and slugs will creep up amongst those or they might creep up the side of here. So sometimes you need to pull them a little way apart so as they can't, uh, the, the slugs and snails can't creep across onto the leaves. But then hopefully you should get perfect uh, leaves on your hostas and uh, they are an amazing plant because when the water uh, when it rains the water goes into the, is the, the, the leaves funnel the water into the center of the stem and then that uh, cre creates a most amazing effect.